Well, I started as a paramedic in December of 1985. Everything was very good. Um, through the years, I have encountered a lot of grief, uh, but also a lot of good. And in August of 2012, it was a grief. It was a grief period, and it was very, very difficult to deal with the situation that we dealt with, compacted by yet another very difficult situation that I suffered less than a week later. Uh, thus, began the end of my career. I've been through therapy, I'm in therapy, and it's therapy that saved my life, quite literally. August in 2012, early in the morning at the end of a shift, we were called to the scene where um, a baby had been strangled accidentally. Uh, it was a chaotic scene with a lot of interveners on, on scene already when we arrived. We were called to care for the uh, caregivers, and uh, it was a very difficult situation. The caregivers were in shock. Uh, the police were concerned about the scene, that it was a, a potential crime scene, and that some of the caregivers were being held as uh, suspect uh, persons. They needed to be taken to the hospital. It became very difficult. There was a, not necessarily an argument, but a, dis a disagreement between the law enforcement and um, my partner and myself. Uh, as it worked out, we finally got the person out of that situation took them to the proper care facility to be treated for shock. And when we arrived at the care facility, we were greeted by a disgruntled nurse, um, which didn't help the situation at all. And we felt as though we had returned to zero as far as progress goes. Uh, I had what I describe as a blackout. I don't remember. There's a certain amount of time that happened in there that I cannot recall anything. And when I realized what was going on, I was already in the garage sitting on the back bumper of the ambulance and I was weeping like a child. Um, my partner and I con tried to continue on after that. We finished our shift, went home, took some time off. He, he went on vacation. Unfortunately, I was due to go back to work within three days. And when I went back to work, the very first call that I did on my, on my, on my day back was a horrific bus versus car accident, which was extremely difficult. There were fatalities. And it was a very chaotic scene again. Um, and I experienced yet another blackout where I cannot remember what happened in between certain periods of time. On the way to the hospital, we were transporting a patient that was a, a minor, a minor injury. She had neck pain. We were transporting the patient to the hospital. And it was then that I had a, I had an aha moment or I had a realization that I couldn't do this job anymore because of the fact that I saw myself as a danger to my patients, a danger to my colleagues, and a danger to the public at large because I didn't know how I would react in a given situation from that point on. And so it was that fateful day that I decided to um, look for help, which culminated in ending my career as a paramedic on the streets and has led me to where I am today, um, trying to help as many people as possible suffering from PTSD, depression, and other mental illnesses associated with trauma.